Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me on my YouTube channel or website for another card video. Today I'm sharing two Halloween cards featuring Spellbinders Witch on Broom dies, and I'll be using a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my website as well. I'll be using Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Strip dies to cut strips of scrap paper that I've pulled from my card stop and you can easily use a paper trimmer to achieve the same result. I'll be using this Sentiment Best Witches from the Scrapbook.com Fall Sampler Stamps and the spotlight of the card, Spellbinders Witch on Broom Dies. So to get started, I'm stamping the Sentiment using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink onto a 110 pound card base using my Misty. I want to stamp that Sentiment twice. So I'm going to talk a little bit while we do this. When I'm using black embossing powder, I like to stamp with black ink first. If the embossing powder misses anything, it won't be as noticeable with the black ink under it. So I'm going to clean my stamp, and then I'm going to stamp again using a WOW embossing pad, and then add the black embossing powder, clean off any stray specks of embossing powder, and heat set. Also, I want to mention that I always use anti-static powder before heat embossing. So now I'm going to use my dinosaur of a squeeze punch called the round the corner from Fiskars to just chomp the corners of these off. I'm going to start adhering the strips to the card bases using a Gina K Connect adhesive. You can use a T ruler to keep them straight while applying them. Most of the time, I just eyeball it. Once I'm done gluing the strips down, I'll trim the excess off. Now we want to start applying 3D foam strips to the back of the witch and bats and add it to the card bases. I've found that the Couture Creations 3D uh, foam strips are absolutely amazing. So then we're just going to finish our card off with a few black enamel dots from Honeybee Stamps. Super simple card. So I'm going to run through the second process again with you. We've already done our heat embossing for our sentiment. We're just adhering these strips with the Gina K Connect glue. Then we're going to add the 3D mounting foam to the witch and the bats to adhere them to the card base. And add 3D enamel dots and we're done. So see, super simple cards, really quick. And I do believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired to enough to head into your crafty space and create something amazing today. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And if you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below and be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find videos and blog posts in one spot. 